and I assure our honorable colleagues in the opposition that their constructive suggestions and recommendations will be considered by government as we move forward. On the, on the honorable Usumate's point about the sugar industry and elections, may I remind him that the uh, opposition at that time had, uh, had uh, proposed that, and we will get there. I'm, uh, I got word from the Minister for uh, uh, Sugar this morning. He might have read your speech before he came to me this morning. And uh, his point about all Fijians, yes, uh, we agree. But I also remind us, uh, Honorable Speaker, sir, that some Fijians are original landowners, some Fijians are freehold landowners, some Fijians are lessees, some Fijians are lessors, and uh, some people live in rural areas and maritime islanders, uh, islands, and the government has made a commitment to look after all our citizens. However, it was said, I, however, it was said to note that some honorable members continue to deliver, deliver political rhetoric and statements, perhaps uh, some sh somewhat short of fact, logic, and substance. Political debates uh, should be evidence-based, supported by facts and figures from credible sources, rather than the social media or rumors. And I'm sure there are many sources available to us. We just have to exercise more caution to find out which really is the, uh, the credible source. I'm confident that as we move forward, Mr. Speaker, sir, we can build bridges and address challenges facing the nation in the spirit of promotion, promoting national unity and communal harmony. As I uh, saw the students sitting here this morning, Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm uh, reminded to just uh, say some words of encouragement to the parents of those. <coughs> these, these children, beautiful looking children, during the debate, we heard mention of the ills of society of today. We heard about the woes still felt in the rural areas that have no roads or not good roads. Shipping uh, and all those other facilities that uh, we now complain about. If I was to ask uh, the Honourable Members, Mr. Speaker, sir, to put their hand up if they grew up in a maritime island. If they grew up and went to school where well, there was no road. I'm sure many of us would put our hands up. So I would like, Mr. Speaker, sir, to as we mention these areas, to encourage those in those areas to continue to look after their children. I walked almost one whole day to get to the road, Mr. Speaker, sir, when I was going to Bukalev. And if we were fortunate when we got to the road, we could catch a ride on one of those PWD trucks that were building the Tsabu uh, to Mbutha Bay Road at the time. There was no proper jetty to get across the Tabiuni from the Vanuale side. We had to go by Velo Velo, all those uh, little punts to take us to the, to the boats. I would like to encourage all of us, to encourage those who are coming through those difficult areas and times to soldier on, look after our children, so that we do not have the problems of, uh, that we have raised here this morning, uh, this, uh, during this debate about street uh, dwellers, uh, about poverty, uh, about school dropouts, 
I remember this because I was, we were talking about coal dropouts during the SVT time. And uh, the Minister for Education and Minister, Assistant Minister were talking about what do we do with school robots? And after about an hour of talks, they realized that I hadn't said anything. And I said, Prime Minister, you haven't said anything. And I asked them, uh, who is a school dropout? And they said, well, they do not complete the school system. What is the complete school system? No, they go on to university and... And what do you think? I said, Mr. Speaker, sir, we make them prime ministers. It's not how far you go in the school. Your parents' support and your own determination that determines your destiny. And governance, Mr. Speaker, sir, I reiterate and believe that faith, mutual respect for one another, and diversity are what make our nation strong. If we respect and appreciate each other's different views, we will surely find common ground towards achieving our common goals for the betterment of our country. We owe it to the next generation, the future generations, to do that collectively. This is the essence of our democracy, Mr. Speaker, sir. And this is the, the essence of parliamentary debate, the battle of ideas from which, out of which comes the best solutions to our challenges. The formulation of policy through consultation with all stakeholders will create an environment of inclusiveness, ownership and confidence, which I will continue to champion. The People's Coalition, Mr. Speaker, sir, is not afraid to admit our weaknesses and we acknowledge the mistakes that we have made. We're willing to take on board the views expressed by any member of this society and all honorable members of this House, and we will take those on and act accordingly. Government will continue to encourage the free exchange of ideas and criticisms. Mr. Speaker, sir, only this week we received a request from an honorable member of the opposition about the plight of a lady teacher in the West. I'm glad that the Deputy Prime Minister and uh, Honorable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Education came back the following day to say that her problem had been solved. Thank you. However, we must all recognize that freedom of speech also, as we express ourselves, comes with responsibility. Concerns have been raised by some honorable members on the propensity of racial vilification on social media. Very good solution to that. Don't read social media. But I have a page. I can uh, challenge anyone to challenge me on any. I can assure you. On seriously those allegations and there are laws on cyberbullying and ongoing investigations by relevant authorities and a number of cases also ongoing. As individuals we must have all exercise restraint and maturity becoming of the members of the Parliament of Fiji. We must also recognize that the standard debate in the Honorable House sets the tone of debate across the nation, among the people in the interactions in person and online. That's why I cautioned the, uh, the young students not to take this and, uh, and use it in their own classrooms or in their villages. Authorities must continue to monitor online communications that may incite communal or religious antagonism and enforce the relevant law accordingly. Issues relating to the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, sir, I wish to assure, reassure the nation that the coalition government will continue to abide by the Constitution and the rule of law. Responding to calls for a review of the Constitution does not mean that the government disrespects the process required 
for the amendment of our constitution as laid out in the constitution. However, the constitution empowers cabinet to refer a question of law to the Supreme Court under section 9915 for clarification of a particular section of the constitution. The uh, government, Mr. Speaker, sir, has come under fire on some of the uh, issues raised by government, some of the appointments, and we have asked that uh, the Supreme Court will rule on it. 